Hey everyone, welcome to the mesmerizing universe of 3JS. Today we're crafting with code the hypnotic beauty of Spirograph art. Remember to subscribe and smash the like button. Let's explore the possibilities of generative art. Okay, we're going to start from scratch and build out some Spirograph inspired mesmerizing art. Let's get started. Let's change this cube to just a generic mesh. Let's also change this to a plane geometry and give it size, comma size, and nothing else. Const size will be four to start with. And we have a plane. And instead of rotating it, hang on a second. Side is three double side. And this should be a mess basic material. And get rid of this color mapping. Good. And instead of rotating it thus, let's rotate it this way, just on the z-axis. Why not go the other direction? Okay, there's the fundamental building block of our project today. Next thing I want to do is to drop onto this plane programmatically drawn image. Let's Let's create the image and put it on a texture using canvas texture. Well, let's see, we'll call this function draw, draw canvas, no, draw texture. Yeah, that works for me. Size is 1024, we'll create a canvas element and get its context, set its size, do this fill style here, which is just red. We'll fill a rect on there and then we'll return a canvas texture. Now, I'm gonna pass that as a map here. Draw a texture, get rid of this color directive. We should have a red plane now. Instead of just fill rect, let's import draw star into this directory and then use that instead. I'm gonna pass in the context and the size like that. And that should draw a star if I've included it in my directory. And I have not. Shoot. Copy. Paste. There we go. Now we have a star. This is what draw a star looks like. Super boring. I've just pulled it off of Mozilla Developer Network examples. There's so much more we can do with this. Because um, we want to get to something that looks similar to this or this and um, we're not quite there yet let's draw a spirograph type shape instead now i'm going to get rid of this draw star don't care about that anymore and instead import recipes from recipes and Create spiral path. Spiral path. Like that. Here's, here's, this is a little bit complicated, but we'll clean it up in a sec. Const recipe is equal to recipe zero. Okay, and then const uh, r r recipe step is equal to recipe zero. Path equals create spiral path. Wait, is that what I want to do? Context dot, what is it? Draw path? Oh, fill. Fill path. Like that? Yes, that's what I want to do. I also want, I've got this fill style defined here, like so. I also want to draw a stroke too. So context.stroke style is not black. It's also this HSL business but we'll make it 100%, so it's gonna be white, and context dot 
Line width, fine. Stroke. So now I should have a white line around it too. Yay! Now, we're drawing this texture. We're dropping it um, into our material here. I want to layer these. Each one of these recipes, let's have a look at the recipes. It's, it's a, a function that spits out a collection of graphs. In this case, there's 2 times 12, so that's 24. And this one has 12. And this one has 12. And this one has 8. So for I want I want to recreate this spirograph design eight times. Do you know what I'm saying? Is that double sided? Oh, it is indeed. And I want each of them to animate in an interesting way, kind of like this. Uh, let's see, where is that? Oh, two. Let's go to index and let's change the composition to zero. See how they're kind of undulating? I want to recreate that. Okay, continuing on. We've taken a plane, we've drawn this path and dropped it into a texture and put that on the plane. Now I want to create many planes. Um, I think I'll call this function create composition. And I'm going to pass in an index. And that index is going to re represent which recipe we're doing. I have not defined create composition yet. Let's define it uh, here. Yeah, right here. Function create composition. And we'll close that off. I don't need this hemi-light anymore. Thank you very much. I also want to define a scene group. Scene group to uh, uh, into which to add all this stuff. Const scene group. New group and add that to the scene. And I want the scene group. Scene group dot user data equals this function here, an update function. Kind of like that. And I think I can make that a one liner. Let's get rid of these curly braces and make it an arrow function. Scene group dot children. Um, that's an ugly one liner, isn't it? Let's change it. Dot update equals function. And the function looks like this. Now we can do a one liner. That's better. For each child, it's going to call this update method. Right now, none of them have update methods. And I want to just animate the scene group. Let's pass in t times 0 0.01. t will equal 0. OK. Nothing's happening right now because these guys don't have update methods. These, uh, plus, I don't even have a, I don't have any guys. <laughs> um, let's pull that recipe stuff down here. And we'll pass recipe step. Recipe step in here. OK. And I'm going to grab the recipe. And say, well, recipe dot for each is a recipe step. Get rid of index. I don't think I need that. And that's what that looks like. Um, we've defined size. Draw texture recipe step, like so. I think that's how we can do. I'm going to make this slightly bigger. And it blows up. Why? 
Oh, because I didn't do close paren here like that. Still broken. Recipe should be an array. Let's see, console.log recipe. And let's look at our log. Oh, I didn't call it. My bad. It's odd to have an array of methods that you gotta call, so I'm gonna do that anyway, like that. There we go. And still broken. Path is not defined in index.js26. Here, path is not defined. Okay. So, this path is create pirate, yes, like that. Oh, is there an error? Nope, no error. Um, do I just need to make it less opaque? I don't know. Let's have a look. Transparent true, opacity 0 0.1. Yeah, wow. That made a huge difference. Um, fun thing to play with here too is blending. Blending. And we'll make it uh, three dot additive blending. And eh, it's not as good as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, three dot normal blending is the default. Um, let's get rid of the stroke. So we just have the fills. And now let's add a method to animate this guy. Um, this guy being um, this mesh. Um, I'm gonna say mesh dot user data dot update equals a function t and I'm gonna rotate it on the z axis. Time, um, plus rate. The rate is defined as that index index times 0 0.1, I think. I think that's what I want. Yeah, not really. They're all moving the same. Index times 0 0.5. That's just as bad. I want to slow it down. Let's add another zero here. Console dot log rate. Let's see what those rates look like. Because they all look the same to me. They all, they're all zero. Well, what the heck? Create composite. Oh, that's why. Duh. Um, I. This will work better. See what I mean? Now, I happen to know that those recipes include hue, saturation, and lightness. So let's integrate those as well. And we'll use a JS template string. Percent, percent, like that. And we'll pass in hue. Sat duration and lightness. But we need those deconstructed here first. Thank you. Ah, isn't that nice? That works so beautifully because I've already stoked these hue saturation and lightness values in my, my recipes. So you get those for free. Ah, isn't that lovely? Let's make it a little bigger just so we can enjoy it more. Oh yeah. If you go too big though, it starts to get cut off, I think. Ah, I can't tell. I guess not. And if we pass in a different index for create composition, we'll get a different recipe. Oh yeah, isn't that nice? It's a little bit too uh, transparent, so we'll just darken it up a little bit or opaque it up a little bit. There's one. Isn't that nice? We're done. Um, some things you could do is, like I did here, I made it so that it only animates when I'm clicking. And I can use the arrow keys to change the recipe. Those are some um, additional things you could do. Um, you could also play with different colors, different spirograph designs, 
you could just use strokes instead of fills, kind of like this. Oh, let me grab this, this line here so I can get my... Actually, let's do it without it first. Oh, why didn't that work? Here. Oh, yuck. Oh, man, I forgot to talk about Z-fighting. Let's, let's fix that. Um, I want to copy this and make it the stroke style. Like so. Oh, that's nice. And line width is two, so we can actually see it a little bit better and make it a little more opaque or a lot more opaque. Change the composition index. Yeah, see, that does not look as good as the fills to me, but maybe this one does? That looks pretty good. Try playing with the recipes too to see what you can come up with. Three. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, Z fighting. Okay, look at this. That is absolutely horrible. Let's re refresh and get rid of that. So to mitigate that Z fighting, that happens when you have a bunch of geometries, in this case planes, all stacked up in the exact same Z depth. Let's just modify the Z depth a little bit. Um, here we'll say mesh dot position dot Z is equal to I times 0 0.05, or even less than one. And now, as I rotate around, we no longer have that horrible, horrible Z fighting. Isn't that cool? Thanks so much for coming by. Um, make sure to leave a comment with your thoughts, with your suggestions, um, questions, or whatever. If you can, consider supporting me over on Patreon. Every little bit helps to make me to make, me make more videos. Um, thanks so much for, your, for m making this a, a fun experience for me. Um, see you next time.